Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Eriko Banks and this is Codestar Technologies. As you know, it's one of the fastest growing online learning platform here in Kenya and Africa at large. Uh, if you're new on this channel, kindly click that subscribe button uh, so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video like this one. So in our today's session, I would like to check uh, one of the new launched version 2 of Daraja API. And as you can see, this is their um, landing page. It looks nice. Uh, it looks amazing, if I can say. It, it, it's something which looks more quality right now uh, compared to what we had last time. And uh, as you can see, there are some animation here and there. And uh, yeah, for those who don't know what is Daraja API, in other words, uh, if you talk about Lipa and Pesa API, if you want to integrate your system, uh, that is uh, your software with Lipa and Pesa so that you uh, you can be able to receive payments via Lipa and Pesa. Uh, this is the API that uh, Safaricom normally provides to the developers so that you can uh, make use of it and uh, develop system which can be able to receive payments via Lipa and Pesa. So uh, some of the languages that you can use, as you, as you can see here, we have got Node.js, we have got uh, Python, there is Java, there is uh, PHP and uh, Ruby. Uh, those are some of the languages which you can use and it's kind of more of the backend programming languages that you can be able to use. So yeah, those are some of the languages. And as I said, it is uh, more of they changed the look in terms of the design, how they presented the information and all that. So we'll get deeper and check what they have. Um, uh, as you can see here, if you log in, uh, you can be okay let me go back here first of all there is FAQs there is API there is a um, uh, docs there is a forum and even go live option go live option if it's you log in you'll be able to see all that kind of information so first of all it's to create an account if you don't have an account it's very easy to create an account while uh, right now I have logged in as you can see this is my account now then we have got the logout button here and uh, currently I'm on the documentation part of it, which is uh, kind of well organized. Um, I happened to see it this week, so it was uh, launched uh, maybe, if it is not this week or last week, maybe something like that. Uh, because this week is when I opened the, 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 the portal and I happened to see these kind of changes. So I decided to do a video at least to share to many of you so that you can get to understand what is here, what is new and some few things that have been uh, maybe added in a simpler way. So they have re just reorganized the data or representation in a, a more easier way, if I can say. So um, uh, you need to create an account. Once you create an account, you can log in. And once you log in, you'll be able to see the documentation part of it. There is the option for, this option is for the FAQs. And FAQs is in case maybe you need to understand more about terms like uh, what is short code, uh, what is what, what is like SDK push, which is one of the uh, APIs that uh, most people like to use them. And uh, there is a lot. What is consumer secret? It's well organized in a way that uh, it answers your question in an easier way. Um, yeah, and for someone who is a front-end designer, I think... Um, this is the best way to do it. This is the best way you can present this kind of data. And in terms of uh, FAQs, we have got FAQs there. Then we have got the APIs. Uh, this is how the API looks like. As you can see, there is authorization, MPESA Express. Um, yeah, this is how they look like. And um, you can interact with them, get to understand much about the work. And I did a video, but it doesn't mean like it affected what you had before. Uh, there is nothing which has been affected, uh, only that uh, it's kind of simplifying the information such that someone can be able to read and understand in an easier way. Then we have got my apps in case maybe, yeah, no, this is about documentation. So for the documentation, <clears throat> this is how it is represented. And uh, yeah, I happen to see there is an option for M-Pesa API certificate, which is, was one of the hardest way to install and i installed it last um maybe wednesday somewhere there. i don't know whether it was wednesday or, or tuesday and what happened is that um, this one is a simpler one compared to how we used to install the 
the the the the, the things to do with the uh, the MPESA certificates and all those kind of stuff. It is an easier way to do uh, this kind of stuff because you just download and install it. And yeah, the documentation as you can see here is well organized in terms of uh, like how to go live, what you need, and all those kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So in uh, we have got also some videos here which you can watch. They are explained in a better way in terms of how you create an account, how you create an application here. Uh, remember, you create an application so that you can be able to now kind of start uh, programming. So um, if you click on my apps, there is that option for uh, your applications that you've created. If you've not created any, you'll be able to create an app. Once you create an app, you'll be able to get the consumer key and the consumer secret, which you're going to use on your code uh, for the authentication of uh, your application. So, yeah, in terms of uh, the design, I can say it is as improved. Um, it looks more attractive right now compared to how it looks before. And uh, the rest remains the same, the rest of in terms of how it used to work and all that. It's a matter of just redesigning the website to be able to uh, show the information in a well-organized and attractive way. And yeah, that is it. Uh, the other product which I happen to see, I've no, I'm yet to try it, is the Windows 11. <laughs> I'm yet, I was uh, kind of checking what it has. And uh, I know you guys maybe you can share on the comment section so that you can tell us how it looks like and uh, someone to do uh, an application using this uh, new uh, Daraja API 2.0 and tell us how it looks like if it's fast and all those kind of stuff at least if you are new you try to understand and make use of it and tell us if it is simpler and all those kind of stuff so once you share that information it becomes very easy for us now at least to grow the industry together uh, together sorry <laughs> Um, in terms of the Windows uh, 11, um, also I'm trying to look for the setup so that I can download and try to install. Then we will go through it, make to understand, make sure we check some of the few things. That, but um, some of the things that I've seen, <laughs> it looks maybe <laughs> uh, it doesn't look that much nice. But anyway. We will see how it looks like I, when I install and make uh, uh, try to operate it uh, to make use of it and uh, for some few two three days I'll be in a position to explain much about it how it looks. So uh, I conclude by saying that uh, this month has been one of the best new products like uh, if you talk of this Daraja API has been uh, uh, upgraded to a new version and also we've got now what we refer to as the Windows 11 there is a lot um i think last month there was something to do with notion uh, api which is uh, one of the best for the project managers if you want to do application that does a kind of project management and so forth yeah because in this era it's all about uh, making all the applications that we have to kind of communicate interact and that is the only way through a use of apis so if you are a beginner it's very very important for you to understand much on how to use these um, APIs, uh, how you interact with the, some of the common APIs. And I've done quite a number of videos apart from the Lipa 9 Pesa API, I've done SMS API, USSD API, geocoding API, and I want to upgrade also on the geocoding API so that I can show more advanced information for everyone to get to learn uh, from us called Star Technologies. So that is it for today. Um, uh, let the cons conversation continue in the comment section. Tell us more about uh, what you know about the, uh, the, the, the new technologies that are out there and more about this product, which is a Kenyan product, um, uh, the Raja API. So thank you guys and remember to subscribe, to click that subscribe button, like button also, don't, make sure, don't forget uh, to click that one. And lastly, share to as many people as you can, at least for them to get informed with this, this kind of information. I will appreciate a lot. And maybe if you might need to learn something new, just consider uh, CodeStar as one of the, your best choice that you can choose. So thank you guys and uh, see you on the next one.